All right, I decided to make my own little uh, real quick Digo tutorial overview because I was spending so much time looking for the right one, I decided to be faster to do it my own way. Um, in this case, I'm going to show you how to install the extension in Chrome and just a little bit about how I use it in my practice. So I've already logged in. Um, you can tell that because my icon's showing. I'm just going to click on Tools. I'm going to drop over here to the Digo extension. They have it for Chrome, IE, and Firefox, but since I'm in Chrome, I'm just going to click right here. It'll pop up. I'll say Add to Chrome, Add. It'll take it a second to verify all the zeros and ones are in order, and bam, I've got my nice little uh, D up here in the corner in a blue square. So now I can start bookmarking things. So uh, let's just say I was going to go to Google and search for um, fish. All right, that's a nice safe fish, uh, a fish search. Here we go. I've got something that I want to save. I'm just going to click on that blue icon, click Save. And in this case, um, I'm just going to put fish, Wikipedia, wiki rather. I can also click on these elements and save it. I could add something to the description, like don't keep this because I don't really want it. Um, I could also send it to a group right now, like our alt lab group. And notice if I do choose a group, you can set up standardized dictionaries in groups, which kind of helps with structuring things if you're working with students. But in this case, I'm not going to share it with anyone. I'm just going to hit save. And then what we'll see is in my Digo library, there it is. And I can find it. Uh, just simply by ticket, you know, I can click on these categories right in the piece and you'll see they'll show up over here. They're tags rather. And I could say fish plus adaptation and then I'll get a very particular link here. I could also subtract adaptation and add something else like uh, eyes. See, so I have some weird things here saved over time and space for who knows why. That's kind of creepy. Um, but I can navigate through all this stuff really rapidly um, just by manipulating these tags. So what I encourage people to do is tag frequently, tag in excess. I've never regretted adding a tag, but I have regretted not having one. Um, so that's you know a real simple starter uh, to, to how to start to do this. And you can see I have 12,319 items at this point. Um, so I have fully committed to this and find it just a great way to keep track of huge amounts of stuff over time and space.